I think I'm uh, pretty, pretty good when I have my best days, and I'm pretty, pretty bad when I don't don't have my best days. And um, you know, you can't change um, your shape or your fitness within like two or three weeks, but you could have like a completely different mindset one day and then the other. And uh, for sure, I was I, I was having doubts, you know. Um, uh, after Mont and I was really fit leading up to that race and uh, I was ready to give my best to defend the title there and it was not some sort of a build-up race or whatever um, and uh, so I mean that really raised more doubts and uh, <laughs> you know in this field everybody looks so fit and when you come here and you don't don't feel that fit and everybody is looks skinnier uh, than you looks, um, and I know how hard these guys are, are working, and and I couldn't put in the work I I would love to, and uh, a big part of doing well in the sport is having the um, yeah the trust in yourself and and in your abilities, and I know that, and it was just not there, and. Uh, um, if I'm in bad shape, but my mindset is right, I could still do some pretty good things. But if it's the other way around, I could be 100% fit. But if the mind is not there, then it's just not happening. <laughs> and that was the reason why I was so, yeah, not, I mean, I was leading the, the Kona points ranking. I had a, a new course record by winning the the European Championships against probably two of the um, uh, five top contenders for the victory here. And of course I can't go in every interview the week leading up to the race and say like, yeah, you know, probably don't have me on the list because I'm just not feeling that good. And um, Of course it was no more pressure going in this, this year's race than in the last two years. And uh, But well. I handled it pretty good. <laughs>